Hello there, a very good morning. You're watching Proactive London. Oxford Cannabinoid Technology Holdings said this week it's making good progress on its two lead cannabinoid medicines in preclinical development. We're going to talk further more with the CSO, Valentino Parapaccini. How are you doing, Val? Um, I'm very well. Thank you, Kate. And uh, it is always a pleasure discussing the progress of our science here at City with you. Excellent. All right. Well, plenty to do. Let's maybe start here because, as I say, you mentioned this week the move to clinical trials. What is your lead compound we're talking about here, the program one? And this is called OCT461201. Uh, so maybe just fill us in what's going on. Yes. Well, you know, we always said that uh, at OCT, we want to do the, the right thing for the right patients. And, and basically, we, we let science to tell us which disorders, and, and we normally aim for more than one for each of our drugs candidate, uh, can be treated better for, for uh, in each time. And in this, in this case, for OCT forces 1 to 1. So we perform a multiple preclinical study. Uh, we analyze all the data, even the one that we uh, acquired particularly recently, and we concluded that OCT forces 1 to 1 uh, was better uh, in suppressing pain in studies targeting uh, chemotherapy induced uh, peripheral uh, neuropathy or CIPN, as it's sometimes is referred to, uh, rather than in other studies. So uh, CIPN is, happens frequently and commonly in people undergoing cancer treatment uh, because basically the drug uh, using chemotherapy is uh, damaging the nerves. Um, at, at the moment, it's treated with drugs that are borrowed from other disorder. Uh, that these uh, drugs have uh, serious side effect, uh, adverse effects, and they are effectively not adequate in terms of effectiveness. So this is a serious condition, and, and it may lead to people to stop chemotherapy, uh, which may be the only hope to defeat cancer. And basically, we cannot allow that to happen. So it, it is obvious that uh, what I say in following the science that we should respond to this, I would say, exciting data and adapt our strategy focus on clinical development, not on PHN, as we said before, so we have, there is a shift in there, uh, but to benefit the patient patients that are suffering from CPN uh, and potentially other indications as well, because the other disorder where uh, the nerves that are affecting CPN are also damaged, for example, diabetic neuropathy. So there is hope also in that direction. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, having said that, we're still going on with our work uh, to tackle visceral pain in patients suffering from irritable bowel disorders, the syndrome, sorry, uh, which are here in the UK alone are more than 5 million. Gosh, that's an enormous amount of people having to put up with this on a daily basis. Yeah. It could be debilitating. Um, Very. So let's just highlight that as well. So what you're saying is there's been a real shift in focus for the trials here. And this is following what you found out about chemotherapy, right? Yes, that's that's right. I mean, we obviously, as I said, we, we in science, you always go ahead with hypotheses, but then you have to validate them. Uh, and although there were data that were suggesting that PHM might be one of, uh, of the uh, potential targets or indication, uh, as I said, the data we received, we received uh, recently suggests that CIPN might be better. Um, and and it, this is uh, a, a disorder uh, with, um, with more patients suffering from uh, compared to PHN. Uh, but most important, as I said, the science is telling us that we may have a better chance to treat these in individuals, uh, and therefore we will have to go with that. Absolutely. Um, let's move on and talk about your second program here and the move to go into clinical trials as well. Tell us all about this one as well, Val, if you would. Yes, yes. You're referring to what we call OCT-130401. Uh, uh, this is a drug device combination. Basically, there are phytocannabinoids uh, in a device that is very similar to the asthma inhaler that we are all uh, sort of familiar with. Uh, and this is to, to treat pa patients suffering from trigeminal neuralgia. And, and we talked about it that in, uh, in previously. So we, we, our, the development of the device, um, the formulation of the compounds, and, and the combination of the two of the two drugs that are going to form this, this particular drug uh, device combo uh, is going extremely well. Um, basically, we are proceeding uh, in terms of uh, preclinical timelines and quality targets really very well. So we, we have made two uh, sort of important decisions. One, obviously, we reach a crucial commercial agreement uh, with an American company called Benuvia uh, for the manufacturing of the drug device combo. Uh, this is according to the good manufacturing practice that are needed by the regulator and by ourselves, actually, uh, to safeguard the patients or the healthy volunteer in the first clinical trial. Uh, they have a sending facility, uh, which are DA and FDA registered for uh, uh, GMP production sites, and they are fully regulated and compliant with both the health, importantly, but also the law enforcement authorities. So this is a really fundamental step to go into the clinical trial um, with, in healthy volunteers initially, uh, and we decided to do that in Australia. 
Um, basically, because in this way, we can benefit from the experience that the local human research ethical committees, the local hospitals, and the clinical research organization down in, in Australia uh, have in supporting and performing clinical trials in pain, crucially, but also particularly with phytocannabinoids. So they really have already that experience and open-mindedness as well. So we have identified um, some uh, first-tier clinical organization, and as you would expect, we are performing the due diligence so that we can select the best partner to expedite the route to cleaning with speed, yes, but also in a cost-efficient ma matter with quality and most importantly, obviously, by safeguarding and caring uh, for, for the uh, FE volunteer first and then for the patient where we'll go in uh, other clinical trials later on. Mm -hmm. And this trigeminal uh, neuralgia, what's the market for this? How many people are putting up with this? Uh, it's 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 a quite uh, it's not so much a, as a as a large market, but it's, it's a, but it's a, in fact it's considered an orphan um, uh, disorder. Uh, the reason why we, we decided to 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 go in that direction is that this is a disease that really debilitated. I mean, mm -hmm. there's too many people suffering from it, which have not been um, uh, helped uh, enough by companies, uh, pharmaceutical companies, and regulators. Uh, they're really left to suffer. Um, the, the disease, in addition, has um, a very uh, unique uh, cause. The majority of the patient has a very, uh, basically, it's one uh, um, problem only, that is a compression of the trigeminal nerve. Mm -hmm. And that causes a really excruciating pain that can go on uh, for, for minutes or two at a time, but really, really frequently. Uh, and it changes their lives. Uh, only, only the thought of having the pain stop them from actually being uh, working uh, in, in social life and, and, and even within in, inside the family. So it was important for us to address that. And we think this is really um, going to do that um, because of the characteristic of uh, both the, the compounds, the phytocannabinoids, uh, but also the way they, 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 they're going to be delivered through inhalation. So we go really quickly uh, into, into the bloodstream, basically helping them uh, re uh, relieving the pain very quickly. Mm. Oh, well, best of luck with that. It sounds horrific. Um, so it appears your, your research and your development programs, they're going well, so you must be excited. Yes, we are indeed, actually. We are excited. We have two assets that are targeting effectively free initial indication, program one and two, uh, and we are investigating other opportunities there. Uh, in addition, uh, with program three and four, we are progressing with PACE. Uh, basically, I can say confidently that it's our strategic plan to, to, to create and expand uh, a pain-focused pipeline is on target in terms of adding new assets continuously. Uh, it's on budget so that we can organically grow the, the company value, but it's also on time to deliver uh, those uh, much-needed therapies for the people that are suffering from debilitating pain, as was discussed, but also, uh, let's not forget about it, but, but from the lack of adequate treatments. Well, we'll let you get back to it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Kate. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you.